everyone. I've had a couple of people um, message me and ask if I can show how I turned this wrap into this wrap. And it's actually a really simple process. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this one and show you exactly what I did. So the first thing you want to do is you want to duplicate your layer. Um, you can do that by dragging it down to the bottom and duplicating it, or you can hit Control J on your keyboard. So once your layer has been duplicated, the next thing you want to do is you want to grab your either your dropper tool and select a color that you would like to change this to, or I just grab my brush tool. And if you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, the dropper tool will come up. And then you can just go through, find a color that you like, and you'll see that the color will change as you're selecting. So let me pick out a color. I like it to be a little bit lighter than the actual blanket itself. So if you notice, if you go into the dark sh shadows, you'll pick up the darker colors. If you go into the where the light's coming from, you'll have the lighter colors. So I'm going to pick I'm going to pick this one right here. Okay, so then after you've selected your color, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to come down here to the bottom where you see the circle that's half full. You're going to click on that. You're going to go all the way up to solid color. It's going to show you the color that you selected, and you can still change this by dragging this around if you'd like. I like the color, so I'm just going to hit OK. Then you're going to come up here to your blending mode. Right now it says normal. We're going to select color. So now you'll see that that color is over the entire image. Well, of course, we don't want the baby to be blue. So we're going to click on our layer mask. That's this white box right here. And you'll know that it's selected because it'll have the little brackets around it. And so anytime that you're painting inside of this, you always want to make sure that your brush is black. So because we don't want this over the entire image, we're going to change our layer mask to black. White reveals and black conceals. So to change that, you're going to hold down the control and then press the letter I, and that's going to invert it. I'm sorry, I don't know what those key shortcuts are for a map. So now that this box is black, that means that we need our brush to be white. So you can either change that by hitting the double arrows and switching between black and white, or you can hit the letter X on your keyboard, and that'll do it as well. That'll toggle in between. So once you've selected, I'm going to make sure that my brush is at 100 opacity. I've got just a soft brush. And just scroll in. And I'm going to try to do this quickly so that the video is not super long. And you just paint it on. It's really simple. And what I love about this technique is that it keeps the actual texture of the blanket. It doesn't get rid of the texture so it doesn't look like you're you know, painting a solid color onto something. Ooh. Turn that off, I'm sorry. So you just go around all the edges and then paint the rest of the wrap. Now I use my bracket keys on my keyboard to make my um, my brush bigger or smaller. The bracket keys are located right next to the letter P on your keyboard. The left bracket is going to make your brush smaller and the right bracket will make your brush bigger. And as you can see it's still keeping the actual texture of the blank of the wrap which is exactly what we want. We want it to look real. We don't want it to look like we just painted on a solid color and And if you get another baby, don't worry about it. All you have to do is hit the X key or the double arrows, and switch back to black, and paint it off. So I'm just going to do this really fast. And then I can see right here where I got, oops, like that, <laughs> um, where I got on the baby's face. So now I'm going to switch to black right here, and I'm just going to paint it off of him. And then I'll show you another little trick that I always do um, when painting anything, even when I'm doing, you know, skin smoothening 
or I'm painting a blanket or anything like that. And I know I bled over here a little bit. So I'm just gonna come up here to the outside because we don't want it bleeding on here. And as you can see also, what's great about this technique is right here where the, my light source was over here on my right side. So where the light was hitting, everything still stayed light. And where the shadows are, the color changed with the shadows, which makes it more believable and I just like that. So next to the bracket keys, the, the one that makes your, um, your paintbrush larger or smaller, to the right of that, um, I'm not sure what this, this little shortcut is, um, but the little button next to it will turn everything for you red that you haven't touched and what you have done now shows the color. Well, all these little red spots that are in here is everything that um, I missed. So I will now come in here and touch that up. So now I don't have to sit and wonder, you know, did I miss anything? Did I paint everything completely? You know, especially, you know, you want to have these printed. So the last thing you want to do is sit and wonder and then, you know, go, oh yes, everything looks good. And then, you know, you get your prints back and you still see, you know, the, the underlining color. In this case, it would be brown bleeding back through. See, I missed a couple of spots along the edge. And that looks pretty good to me. All right, so you just hit that button again and it'll turn it off. And now you'll see it went from brown to blue. And that's it. Bye.